Pulling up, babe, pulling out her trick. Just turn around. Turn around. I'ma stick her up. Stick her up. Now lay it down. Lay it down. I could be to a PMO and like and subscribe in the next five seconds or you will not be able to afford this house in the future. I would not risk it. I ain't gonna say it no more. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jump Boy K. And I'm coming back at y'all with another banger today. So look, I'm sorry that I didn't post a video way earlier because I was supposed to bend do that. I was supposed to drop a video at like five o'clock, but I got caught up playing basketball. But I'm finna tell y'all this video right now. This video is about how you can make good thumbnails i'm about to make a thumbnail for this video that i'm making right now at this moment so i'm not gonna lie i gotta make this video kind of fast because i got low space on my um, on my phone but look check me out when you when you make your thumbnail whatever your own um, video is about go on safari or take screenshots from your actual video and that's what you basically gonna use as a background so as y'all can see i picked this one right here I already took the screenshot, I already did it. So we're gonna go back to the app right now. And then I'm gonna press on that picture right there. Once you press on the picture, go to tools, go to crop, scroll all the way over and press on YouTube. That's what that way you make it as a thumbnail. And what I like to do, I like to go to effects. And I like to use saturation, apply, go to effects again, and HDR. Look at the difference. Those are my two favorites. And then we're gonna go to text, and then we're gonna make a text. So how, hold on, I like to use all caps, how to make a good thumbnail. That's gonna be on the um, actual picture. Now, for the font, I go to permanent marker. I love using permanent marker. Go to stroke, turn it all the way up. Go to shadows, turn it all the way down. This all the way up. Position is really on you however you want it. I like mine's like that. And then line spacing. Character is for this. And then line is for this. So we're gonna leave that like that. And space it out a little bit. Probably a little bit more. And then we wanna move it. Uh, We can leave it up or down. It don't really matter. I'm gonna leave it like right there. And that's really all to it. It's not really that hard. I like it. Actually, I'm gonna put it in the center. It's not really that hard to do. It's really simple. And this is really how I make all my thumbnails. Sometimes when I drop a video, I forget to make the thumbnail. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing it now. And also showing y'all how to do it yourself. This is a lot more you could do, like lens flare. This is how, that how I'll be putting the little things on the player eyes and stuff. You know, you got frame, all the type of stuff that you could like work with to put on the actual, what's the name? Let me save this. All right, now let me show y'all. Um, You got border. You can put a border on it. Let me change this to white to show y'all. Look, you add a border to it. Some people do, do this sometimes. Let me apply. And this is how your thumbnail will look. It look like that. I mean, I could save that too. I might make that a thumbnail too. You could draw on it, but I don't like doing that. Because I'm not an artist, you know. It's a lot of things you could do, man. This is the app that I would suggest for you to use to start making your thumbnails if you're a beginner. This video is going to be short. I said it in the beginning. Because I just wanted to give y'all something that somebody asked for. So, it's your boy Jump Boy K. Y'all don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video, man. It's your boy Jump Boy K. And I'm out. <laughs>